But stop that guy. That guy haunts me. That's, 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 I wish I could stop that guy. I wish I could stop that guy. I wish that guy died, but he's here to stay. Shut the fuck up, New York. Hey, boo yourselves. Boo yourselves, New York. Hey, New York. New York. New York, you're just like Mike Tyson. You were good 20 years ago. If you think I'm too old for this fight, you need to come tell me in my faith. Whoa. Ladies and gentlemen, brace yourselves. Because just when you thought the boxing world couldn't get any crazier, here comes Mike Tyson to prove us all wrong. You think you've seen everything? Nah. Tyson just hit the boxing world with a plot twist straight out of a movie. And who's his co-star? None other than Jake Paul, the YouTube sensation turned professional instigator. It's like a reality TV show, only better because it's real life. Shut the fuck up, New York. Hey, boo yourselves. Boo yourselves, New York. Hey, New York. New York. New York, you're just like Mike Tyson. You were good 20. Jake Paul, hey New York, shut the underscore underscore up. You're just like Mike Tyson, you were good 20 years ago. Bold move, Jake, talking trash about a man who used to eat guys like you for breakfast. Literally. You can almost see the disbelief on the faces in the crowd. Did he really just say that? Yes, he did. And he didn't stop there. He mocked Tyson's illness, took shots at his career. And for a moment, everyone thought maybe, just maybe, Jake had gone too far. But Tyson, he just stood there silent. A stone-cold sphinx. Not a single flinch. It's like he was saying, is that all you've got, kid? Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson. Jake Paul KOs Mike Tyson. I'm not here to do shit besides make a bag. For real, on a real record. Now, if you know anything about Mike Tyson, you'd expect him to lash out, right? Put Jake in his place with a few choice words. But nope, not this time. Tyson was like a coiled spring, holding back. The silence was so thick you could cut it with a knife. Everyone was on edge. Was Tyson about to snap? Or was this some kind of twisted mind game? While Jake was busy filling the room with his ego, Tyson's silence was creating a tension you could feel in your bones. It was as if Tyson was saying, I don't need to match your trash talk. My legacy speaks louder than anything you could ever say. It wasn't a retreat. It was a calculated move. By not engaging, Tyson Tyson left Jake spinning his wheels. Here's a guy used to rattling his opponents with words, now looking more like a kid lost in a candy store, unsure of what to do. You see, trash talk is Jake's bread and butter. It's how he's built his whole persona. In the social media age, controversy is king. Love him or hate him. As long as you're talking about him, he's winning. But this time, things felt different. There was a whiff of desperation in the air. Like Jake knew he was up against more than just another fighter. He was up against a legacy. And you could see it. the bravado was forced, the confidence shaky. It was like he was trying to convince himself, as much as the crowd, that he could go toe-to-toe -to -toe with toe with Tyson. And then, just when the tension couldn't get any higher, Tyson makes his move. On August 22nd, on Logan Paul's podcast, Tyson drops a bombshell that nobody saw coming. The timing was perfect just as the buzz from the press conference was dying down. Tyson steps in and cranks it right back up. But this time, he's in control. Logan's all smiles, thrilled to have Tyson on his show. But that excitement, it doesn't last long. Shit talkers get all the money. The shit talkers get all the attention. Yeah. The shit talkers get everything. We get a bad rap, but we get everything. Tyson dives right in, and his words hit harder than any punch. Trash talkers get all the money, Tyson says. Trash talkers get all the attention. Oh, and by the way, they also get a bad rep. But you know what? They get everything else, too. Logan's grin fades faster than Jake's confidence at the press conference. He's invited a lion into his living room, and now he's realizing just how dangerous that can be. Yeah, it's a fight. And this is the baddest m on the planet, so yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. And Greg Paul, he's sitting there trying to keep it cool. But you can tell he's feeling the heat. When asked if he's nervous for Jake, Greg doesn't even flinch. Yeah, it's a fight. And this is the baddest man on the planet. You can see the admiration in Greg's eyes, the respect for the legend that is Tyson. This isn't just about supporting his kid. It's about acknowledging the beast sitting across from him. You're, sc I'm, you're scary. I be, I'm just that kind of person, you know what I mean? I miss a scary guy before, you know, that's who I am. I miss mm. my nerves, my skin, because I don't want to get angry or anything. That's why I'm Mike Tyson, you know, I'm scared. Not of Jake, not of losing, but of myself. I don't want to get angry. That's why I'm scared. Whoa, hold up. Tyson scared? This is the man who once threatened to eat Lennox Lewis's children, and now he's talking about being scared of himself? This is Tyson pulling back the curtain, giving us a glimpse of the monster he's kept caged all these years. Let's stop that guy. That guy haunts me. That's, 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 I wish I could stop that guy. I wish I could stop that guy. I wish that guy died, but... He's here to stay. You see, Tyson's fear isn't just for Jake, it's for himself. Because he knows that once he lets that side of him loose, there's no turning back. Tyson's trash talk is legendary. Before his 2002 fight with Lennox Lewis, he said he wanted to eat the guy's kids. I'm the best ever. The most brutal, most vicious, the most ruthless champion there's ever been, Tyson declared. His words weren't just to intimidate. They were a window into the primal, almost animalistic mindset that Tyson tapped into before a fight. But here's the thing, Tyson's ability to spit out such terrifying rhetoric is a double-edged sword. On one hand, it's a powerful tool. Getting into his opponent's heads, tearing them down mentally before they even step into the ring. On the other hand, it's a reminder of the darkness Tyson himself fears. He knows that once he lets that side of him loose, there's no turning back. So why stay silent at the press conference? 
Why not unleash the fury? Because Tyson knew that if he opened his mouth, the full force of his intensity would come roaring out and Jake Paul wouldn't stand a chance. Tyson's silence wasn't a sign of weakness. It was a show of strength, a way to remind everyone, including Jake, that he doesn't need words to prove he's still the baddest man on the planet. His actions, his legacy, they do all the talking for him. Throughout his career, Tyson's trash talk crossed lines no one else would dare. Before his 1986 fight with Trevor Burbick, Tyson famously said, I'm going to make you my girlfriend crude. Absolutely. Shocking? Without a doubt. But effective. You bet. Burbick, like so many before him, was defeated before the first punch even landed. Tyson's words have always been a weapon, one he wields with terrifying precision, making him a figure of both fear and fascination. So what's next? Is Jake Paul ready to face a man who's fought his own demons, both in the ring and out? Tyson's fear isn't just for Jake, it's for himself. Because he knows that if he loses control, if that side of him takes over, it could be the end of everything. Tyson's learned to hold back, it's to choose his moments carefully. But when he finally lets loose, it's not just his opponent who should be scared, it's every Everyone watching. And maybe, just maybe, Jake Paul has bitten off more than he can chew this time. Tyson's not just fighting Jake Paul, he's fighting to keep that beast inside, the one he's lived with all his life, the one that scares even him. And as for Jake, he's about to find out that you don't play games with a legend, because when Mike Tyson steps into the ring, it's not just a fight, it's a reckoning. So, place your bets, ladies and gentlemen, because this fight, it's going to be one for the history books. Tyson vs. Paul, the legend vs. The loudmouth, the beast vs. The boy. And in the end, we'll see who's still standing. Tyson, in his prime, when he was just storming the gates. He just stalked people down and smashed them. Just you couldn't stop him. It's orgasmic sometimes. Mm, yeah. You can hit hard like that, but I can hit pretty hard to like that bucket. Boom! <laughs> Who else can do it but me? Who else is he gonna fight? We got a YouTuber fighting the greatest fighter that ever lived. Should he be scared? He should be very scareful, yeah. <laughs> Let's go, be careful. I, I think he's a mitt warrior. The Instagram videos are cute, but we'll see what happens in the ring on November 15th at the end of the day. We'll see if he still got it. sort of intentions you can have inside a ring. Well, he may have been in the ring with people with the same intention, but the actuality, no. Exactly. 